Hello and welcome to Virtuosity. I'm Corey Crossan and I am a co-founder and the executive director for Virtuosity. I also work at the University of Oxford with the Oxford Character Project as a research and teaching fellow. In this video today, I want to demo Virtuosity for you and also go through each of the features in detail so that if you are using the Virtuosity app, you can refer back to this as a manual. And so you can see here that I'm sharing my phone screen. And so I'm going to keep this open the entire time so that you can follow along if you have the app. Before I get into the demo or the features, I wanted to just briefly set up why we've designed Virtuosity. And so essentially the, this Virtuosity mobile app is created to support your character development and it's supported to, it's designed to embed character development into teams and organizations. And so when we think about character, you might be wondering, well, what is character? What we do is we refer to this character wheel to define character. So it has 11 circles or what we call dimensions that are equally important and work together to support judgment in the middle through a habit of judgment and decision making. All of these have four to nine associated elements and all of these words that you see in the wheel, we actually also refer to as virtues, meaning that these are behaviors that produce beneficial outcomes for yourself, others, and society. Now, any of these virtues can become a vice if they're deficient, so if they're weak and underdeveloped, or if they're really strong but unsupported by another behavior. So if we look at courage, for example, if you're really brave, determined, confident, but perhaps you don't have very strong humility, what can happen is your courage can become an excess vice. It can actually start to become reckless without the proper support of humility. So the implication here isn't to dial down your courage, but to start focusing on these other neglected areas of your character to better support your judgment and decision making. So in this case, humility. We have this really comprehensive vocabulary to help us understand where these virtues are and how they operate between these deficient vices and excess vices. And so a lot of the program in Virtuosity is helping you understand what your virtues and vices look like, how that impacts your performance, your mood, anything that you're doing with others. And it also helps you understand the character of other people. But most importantly, it helps you identify specific areas that you can focus on for development that will make a big difference in your habit of judgment and decision making. We also use this development framework called the seven strategies for character development to help you develop your character. And so I'm not gonna go into these in detail, but you can know that these are embedded into the Virtuosity app. So you'll be able to notice these when you're focusing in your program on development. And then the last piece here is these are our stages that we help you go through to develop your character. And so you'll notice how our exercises and our lessons in the app are designed around these stages. So when you begin focusing on one behavior, for example, we're just going to encourage you to discover what your character looks like, both as virtues and vices, and discover virtues and vices in other people. Then, as you progress up a level, then we're going to focus on activating your character. In the third stage, strengthening your character, so giving you very specific exercises that actually strengthen that character behavior. Fourth, we're going to help you connect certain character dimensions to others. And then fifth, sustaining character across context and under stress. So looking at how different contexts may influence your character in different ways. All right, so let's go to the home page and start looking at how this app actually works. So I've just logged into the app for the first time. I've done a few things already, so I'm just gonna catch you up to speed. So what happens when you first enter into the app is it will encourage you to reflect on your character. And as soon as you reflect on your character, you're provided with some insights. So if you go all the way to this insights tab at the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to look at what your character looks like. 
And so we really use this character reflection as an opportunity to reflect as opposed to telling you, you know, exactly who you are. So really using this opportunity as deep reflection. So you can see here that it gives you 11 dimensions associated with those 11 circles I showed you on the framework. And as you scroll down, it shows all of those elements as well, all 62. At the bottom, it then shows the same 11 elements and it gives you a different view of your results to help you understand how some of your strengths may operate as excess vices. So for example, here with my character, transcendence is my strongest. And if we look at collaboration, it's quite low. So if I have lower collaboration, how may that cause my transcendence to manifest as an excess vice? Well, it may mean that I'm not considering enough diverse perspectives or cultivating enough deep relationships that my ideas for the future may be misinformed. And so my ideas, although I have many of them, may not be well informed because I don't have that strong collaboration to come along with me. If we scroll back up, here's one of the little features that may not be obvious, is you can click on each of these words to better understand what they mean. So if we click on humility, we can actually see all of the elements associated with humility. And we can scroll through to actually see all of the other dimensions as well. And then if we go back to the main screen, you can also do that with these elements. So if we want to understand what curious means, for example, let's click on curious. Demonstrates a keen interest to learn more about a wide variety of topics. So it's really fun and helpful to understand what each of these elements or behaviors actually means. Now, if we go back to the home screen, you'll see in my welcome tasks here that I'm also being prompted to add a partner. And so adding a partner is can be scary because we may not be comfortable talking about our character, but it's one of the things that we know from our research is one of the most important parts of character development. It really helps with the accountability piece and it helps you identify and understand your character so much better because there are lots of opportunities in this program for your partner to reflect on what your character looks like. And you can actually see those insights. <clears throat> you can see those insights and have opportunity to discuss what those look like. So it really helps you understand deeper parts of your character that you may not have been aware of. And because you're asked to do the same thing with your partner, then you become more aware of what other people's character looks like. So what happens is if I add my partner here, you do that by sharing a code. And what happens is if as soon as my partner is added, they're then asked to do a character reflection for me. And if we go back to the insights tab here, what you'll see is I have not, I don't have a partner yet, but when I do, what I'll see is these black tick marks here will then show how my partner views my character. So then I can start to see differences in how I perceive myself and how others might perceive me. What you'll also see here is the white tick mark, which is called the organization average. So if you're part of a team or an organization, you'll see the averages of your team and organization here. So I'm not part of a team or organization right now. So all of these tick marks just look exactly like my scores. Okay, so let's go back to the home screen. Oh, actually, before I leave the insights page, if you have a partner, you'll be able to see all of their information up here. So if you click on partners, again, I don't have my partner, but you'll be able to see them right here and you can click on them and you'll be able to see a whole list of all the different reflections that they do of you. So it's all stored there. So we'll go back and let's go back to the home screen. So like I said, I jumped ahead a little bit, so I'll catch you up. And what I did is if we scroll down here, if you're new to the app, you won't have your weekly plan yet. All you'll see is this opportunity to choose a focus behavior. 
So the way the program works, now that we're essentially through the welcome or opening piece, is you get into a weekly cycle of a program. So your weekly cycle starts on Monday morning and it ends on Sunday evening. And what happens is you can choose to focus on one character behavior. So any of those 62 behaviors, you can choose to focus on to develop it for the week. And based on what you choose, you then get this weekly plan. And so you get a lesson, you get daily exercises, and then you'll always have daily opportunities for reflection, a weekly reflection, and an opportunity to choose a new focus behavior for the next week. So let's just look at how we actually choose a focus behavior. So when you choose one, you can choose by clicking on the button and you get two what I call view viewpoints. So the first one is this grid view and it gives you all of the different dimensions and you can open them to expand them and see the different elements. You can also do the list view and what this view shows is it orders your elements from weakest to strongest. And why this can be helpful is because we really encourage you to focus on your weaker behaviors because we know that that will be most important in terms of strengthening your overall character to optimize your judgment and decision making and therefore your performance, your well-being, your relationships, etc. So I'm going to go back because as you may notice, I've already chosen strives for excellence, which is part of drive for my first focus behavior. And so you'll see it all set up here. And because this is the first time I'm focusing on the behavior, you'll see that I'm still at level one. You'll also see here on the home page my daily exercise. Now this is probably one of the biggest parts of the program is looking at what your daily exercise is each day. And this will change each day. And you'll see, if you remember, our first stage is just discovering what your character looks like and what the character of others looks like. And so that's the theme for this week, discovering what strives for excellence behavior looks like and doesn't look like by observing my behaviors and the behavior of others. So my specific exercise for today is to identify one to two times when I've demonstrated the virtue of striving for excellence. So this just helps me understand what this actually looks like and helps me remember what I look like when I exhibit this virtue. Now to go along with your daily exercises, we have one small lesson for each week. So if we click on that, you can click on all of these items in the weekly plan to take you exactly where you want to go. And so I'll be provided with a very short lesson each week to support my exercises. So here we have a short introduction to drive because my behavior is situated within the dimension of drive. It also provides me with a short introduction to the virtue or the, the element striving for excellence. It asks me a few application questions as well. And so these reflection questions are really meant to help you, again, apply what you're learning in the lesson. And you can keep track of your notes here by clicking on this reflection icon. So when I open it, I can write ref my reflections here. I'll save that. And then just before I exit out of this, You'll see that we're essentially coming to a close on the lesson, but we always want to provide you with more opportunities to practice. So at the end of most lessons, you'll be prompted to go check out an additional resource outside of your what we call your weekly program. So here, for example, we have movie clips that can help you observe and identify the behavior that you just learned about. So let's click on this. So this takes us to a movie clip from the film Rush. And if you click on the video clip, it will play and you can practice observing the behaviors that you just learned about. So let's go back. So we're done the lesson for the week. Complete. 
And you'll see that my weekly plan then updates to show that I've finished my lesson for the week. So when we think about character development, really what we're trying to do is we're trying to change habits and we're changing habits by focusing on key virtues that we know are most important for our character development. And so what we try to do here with the weekly plan on your homepage is to say, hey, this is what we know is important from our research that will support your character development. If you do all of these things, you're much more likely to strengthen your character development. So because it's, I'm recording this on a Saturday, that's why you'll see, I just came into the app for the first time on Saturday, so I actually only have two days to go here. But as my week begins again on Monday, I'll have all of these opportunities to exercise my character across the entire week. So another big piece beyond the, the lesson and the daily exercise is your daily assessment, or you can think about this as your daily reflection. So what does that look like? It's very small and it's really here to help you continue thinking about what are you doing to develop your character and what is the impact of your character development? Okay, so if we click on that, what we'll see is you have your daily exercise ready to go and it will just simply ask you, did you complete your daily strives for excellence exercise? So you can press completed, thought about it or incomplete. You can also take notes here to keep track of what you observed in your daily exercise. One more page, it then asks you to link your efforts to your outcome. So thinking about what was your performance today? What were your quality of interactions? And it asks you to select all of your moods that you experienced in the day. And so what this does is it's saying, you know, we know that your performance, your quality of interactions and your mood should be better supported if you're trying to do all these things in the program to develop your character. And so you can keep track of these things. And what happens is if you go down to the insights page here and you go to the insights report, you get a weekly insights report given back to you. Now, I just logged into the app for the first time, so I don't have any data here yet but you can refer back here every Monday morning because your program ends Sunday night. So Sunday night, what the, the program does is it collects all of the things that you've put into the app and it reports it back to you on Monday morning. So you can have a really good idea of, you know, what did your efforts look like and what does your performance and your mood look like over the week? And you'll also see, so we actually have four columns here. So it will show what your efforts looked like the previous week, what they looked like this week, so you can compare. Are you getting better? Are you getting worse? And then it also shows how your partner observes you. So that's a really good opportunity to discuss any differences that you see. And we will do another video specifically on how to interpret these weekly insights at a later time. And then the last column also shows your group averages. So you can have a good idea of, you know, how is your group doing? How is your team doing this week? You can see what their average mood is. And so we'll also do another video on that because there's a lot of really interesting and robust group data if you are part of a team or organization. And we actually have a web-based organizational dashboard where you can actually look at the averages of your team's mood, their performance, and how their character may be contributing to that. So that as a team, you can target character that can help you improve as a team, not just as an individual. While we're in this insights page as well, you can click on the progress tab. And what this will show is any changes of your character over time. So the initial character reflection, you'll be able to do that periodically and so that you can actually see are your efforts actually making any changes in your character. And this one, again, we'll do another video to really do a deep dive into how to 
really engage into this process effectively. Sometimes we'll actually see people start to become more critical of their character as they learn more about what their character is, as opposed to just seeing the needle move to see development. So but this is a really good opportunity to fuel your character development. Now, let's go back to the home page. I think that we're pretty much wrapped up on the home page, other than you have a, a weekly reflection opportunity as well, in addition to your daily reflection. And this is just linking you to a few other pieces to think about. So, you know, how would you rate your, view, your virtue or your behavior this week? And then it asks you to reflect on your, vir your vices. So if you didn't exhibit the virtue, were you more likely to exhibit the deficient vice or the excess vice? So this just, again, is helping us better understand what our tendencies are. Systems is a big part of contributing to our character development. And so we identify five different systems here that help you think about what's facilitating or what's inhibiting your character development. Your core beliefs should also be changing with efforts in your character development. So you can keep track of what your self beliefs are, your beliefs about your relationship with others and your belief or view of the world. And then last but not least, your PABCs. And so your PABCs are these anatomical systems that support or inhibit your character development, depending on if they're strong or weak. And so we ask you to keep track of these. Now, you may be thinking there's a lot here, and there is a lot. Our lessons are really structured to help you understand what each of those things mean. And if you go to the library piece here, this is where we store all of the additional resources you could ever want to learn about character development. So we keep your weekly program quite contained, but we want you to be able to live in the app if you want to. And so you'll see some of the things here that I've already mentioned, such as your core beliefs. We also have the PBCs down here. We have this observe and identify folder, which is where we had stored that video clip that I'd showed you earlier. And so there's lots of resources in here. We have extensive resources linking you to different articles, videos, books. We have lots of music playlists developed for each dimension to help you develop your character. So there's lots to explore in the library. If we go to back to the program page, this is where everything in your program for your week is stored. So actually, if you go back to the home page for a second, all of these, let's call them to do items, are stored in your program page. So this is what is active and it shows you when they're due to help you keep on track. When you've completed them, you can find them in your completed page. So you can see that I I had completed the, the level one lesson. And if you remember, I wrote down reflections in that note. So I can also see the notes that I keep for each lesson there. And then one last thing associated with your program page is this My Journey piece at the top. And what this helps you do is it helps you keep track of, of all of the lessons and exercises that you have completed and where you could be going. So for example, let's go click on drive because that's where we are right now. And what you can do is you can scroll down and you can see each of the five elements associated with drive. So it's just dem demonstrates initiative, passionate, results oriented, strives for excellence and vigorous. So once you've completed one lesson like we have just now, <clears throat> it highlights in the color associated with the dimension. Now you can see that there's a lot of a lot more lessons to come, but it gives you a good sense of again what you've completed and what the the roadmap is in terms of your your journey moving forward. So let's go back to the programs page. The one area that we haven't explored yet is this interact page here. So this is where 
you can interact with the wider virtuosity community and you can cultivate your own unique groups as well to communicate with. If you're registered as part of a team or an organization, you can also communicate with them through this page. And you can also communicate with your partner directly as well. So let's look at adding a post. When you add a post, you can share it to the public, you can share it to your team or organization, or you can share it just with your partner. So you can choose that here as you write some thoughts and you can also add pictures. So when you're thinking about creating a post, maybe it's sharing an exercise that has worked really well for you. Maybe you share a picture of where you're able to do that exercise, or maybe it's an insight that you learned more deeply about a behavior that you're working on. Maybe if you're sharing it with your team or organization, it's a context specific thing that you've realized is either a facilitator or an inhibitor to your character development. And the last thing you can do is if you go to the library, you can share any of these resources. So let's go into these introductions here. If I wanted to share the Brave introduction with somebody, I can actually click on the share button here. And I can directly share that resource, which will be posted in the interact tab. So I'll exit out of that and we'll go back to the interact page. You can also filter by element or by dimension as you are interested in only a specific behavior, for example. The last place that we have yet to be is the settings tab. So that's at the bottom right. So this is where you can Look at those welcome videos that appear as soon as you come in. Now, when I first came into the app, I had kind of fast forwarded through that. So we didn't see that in this demo, but they show or they're stored here once you've watched them for the first time. You can also bookmark uh, resources and you can bookmark interact, interact posts. And I don't have anything bookmarked here, but that's where they'll be stored. You can also access your partners through this page. Again, I don't have partners yet, but that's where you can access them as well. You can change your account details here. And you can change your notification settings. This is a big piece in terms of really helping as a reminder to support your character development. One of the strategies that we use based on that seven strategies framework is reminders and what we call in behavioral science nudges. So these can be really helpful to remind us, oh yeah, I had to do an exercise today or having my daily reflection. If we go back, you can also change your password and then reviewing the privacy policy terms and condition, et cetera. Now to close up, going back to the home page here, I think just really being tangible with what I want to leave you with today is that if you're using this as an individual wanting to strengthen your character, what does your day to day look like? I'll share what, what mine looks like. So as I wake up in the morning, what I do is I check out what my daily exercise is. And these daily exercises are really not meant to add too much to your day. They're really just there to prime you to think differently about your day or to to engage differently about your day. So you can see with this exercise prompt that I'm just more actively trying to observe and identify character throughout what I would already be doing with my day. So it brings character to the forefront of your mind so that you can engage differently. I think about it similar to going to the gym in terms of investing a small amount of time makes a big difference in transforming the way you operate. So when you go to the gym for 30 minutes, it makes a big difference in your mood, how you interact with one another, and perhaps even how you sleep. And the same thing with virtuosity. As you put a little bit of time into the app each day, it really transforms all of the things that you do in a day.
So I start the morning by looking at what that daily exercise is. I go throughout my day. And then what I do is I, if we go back to the active page here, actually, the really easy way to get here is by actually just clicking on today's tasks. And the one thing I have to do today is then finish my day with a reflection. So did I do my daily exercise today? Do I have any notes to add about how I experienced that exercise? And what did my performance, my quality of interactions, and what did my mood look like that day? We'll do another video in the future about how important these outcomes can be. I have some personal stories to share, but it goes a long way when you build this into a daily practice of reflection. So I'm going to close out of that. Just taking another minute just to consider if there's anything else that I should go through to help make sure that all of the features are understood in virtuosity. I think that's all I can think of for today. We have so many different future videos ready to share with you in terms of how to understand and fully engage with the Virtuosity app. What I've shared with you today is really just the basic functionalities to help you as an individual develop your character. Now, if you are a team leader or someone that's trying to implement character development with group, groups, teams, or organizations, there's a lot of different ways that you can also use this app in terms of leveraging the resources in the app to embed character development. And so we'll go into those again in future videos. But a quick example is leveraging all of these wonderful resources in the library and creating your own practices. So for example, if we go into the observe and identify folder, we have something called film club, similar to a book club, where you could have a group of people actually watching these films together and then there's discussion prompts at the end of each episode to get you thinking about what character looks like and its different implications. So that's just one very unique way to start embedding character into teams and organizations. But like I said, we'll do another video that can help people who are interested in leveraging those resources for groups and teams at another time. So that's our demo for, for today. It's been great showing you around our Virtuosity app, and we look forward to sharing more resources with you in the future. Thank you.